Hey everyone, Red here, and we have another fun build for you to try out in your games, and that is going to be my unforeseen sniper a death slinger build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have of course unforeseen. Whenever we break a generator, our terror radius will transfer to that generator and be set to a 32 meter radius. During this time, we are undetectable. Second, we have Hex Plaything. The first time we hook a survivor, they will become cursed, and Hex Plaything will activate on a dull totem. Until the stone is removed, that survivor will be afflicted with the Oblivious Status effect. Third, we have Hex Pentamento. This will allow us to see the aura of our destroyed totems, and we can form a quick ritual on the destroyed totem to rekindle it as a Hex Pentamento. And for each Hex Pentamento active at the same time, it'll gain an additional effect, but the most important one that we're relying on is the first, which will decrease survivor repair speed by 30%. And last but not least, a little bit of regression with Pop Goes the Weasel. After hooking a survivor, the next generator we damage will instantly lose 30% of its current progress. As far as add-ons, bring whatever you want, but I'm going to be going with the Warden's Keys to decrease the reload time by 0.35. And I'm going to be going with the Iridescent Coin, which means Survivor Speared from at least 12 meters away are inflicted with the Exposed Status Effect as long as they remain speared. Essentially, as long as we shoot them from 12 meters away, they'll be a one-shot down when they get to us. The build is pretty simple. What you want to do is basically try and be undetectable for the majority of the game and look for some fun shots. If you have a build you want to see on the channel, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below and make sure it has the word build in it. That way, I can search for it easier. And if it looks like fun, you might just see it here on the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Much love. Now, let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, and for our first game, we have Father Campbell's. You love to see it. And of course, we got the Iron Maiden skin, which is also nice. The idea of the build is overall pretty simple. We really want to be undetectable for as long as we can through unforeseen and a play thing. That way, we can really catch survivors off guard. Oh, hey, what's going on? It was actually a pretty lucky find early in the game. We'll take that. Come here, buddy. Hold that for me. We have the coin just in case we can get like a fun shot, but I don't know how much value we'll get out of it. Thank you. Walked right into it. I don't know if I get this. I don't. Fair enough. Can you stop blinding me? Thank you. Uh, are we going back inside? Oh, I think she was just barely out of range and he went around the building it seems. We do have somebody over here. Not really sure where. We could have got a lot of distance too, but this is a great moment for unforeseen value. So now we're undetectable, we can kind of take a moment to look around, see if we can find out what gen that they're on. Maybe over here. We have a nice little three gen over right here. Hi, come here real quick. Hold that for me. I might as well finish the chase. Maybe then I can bring Pop Goes the Weasel over here. Did we hold forward? Oh, we really held forward. That's still regressing, so we're good. Oh, man, we got a lot more distance than I thought we did. Well, let's see. Ooh. I was hoping we'd veer to the left, but we didn't. That's a brave little man. Well, she clearly still wants my attention for a moment. That's okay with me. Nice vault. Are we dropping? Not dropping. There we go. Patience is always pretty key with those. I'm guessing we have the Nia looking for a flashlight save. You know, I love players like the Nia who are constantly looking for a save of some kind. Just because I know they're not on a gen. So, we're always pretty safe in that department. A little bit of a bummer that we lose that gen. But, you know what? I kind of gave up on it when we had come all the way over here. Oh, we do have somebody who's running off. Probably the other Claudette. Great pop goes the weasel value. Ooh. Yeah, we can head over here. See if maybe we can catch somebody off guard with the undetectable. Nia's actually peeking us. Cool. Smart Nia. Hi. We'll go for the Nia. Come here, gamer. Let me see that flashlight real quick. I got just the place to put it. Easy peasy setup. Hopefully that gives us another pop goes the weasel for that gen. Though that gen does look like it's still regressing. So we should be fine. 
Hopefully no one can get a blind here. We're good. Awesome. And it looks like we did go back over that way and start working on the gen. So we're going to get another Pop Goes the Weasel on it. How far we hold? You think sitting on the corner here? Hi. Yes. Yes, we are. Love to see it. Reflexes today seem to be A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and pop this gen. And we'll get, of course, our Unforeseen on it. And then we can move to maybe the other side of the map. Hmm. It's either main. We could be on the other side completely. Oh, we do have a boon here as well. We might as well get rid of the boon. No reason not to. I don't want them having, like, incredibly quick healing or just in case we have to make a slug play exponential. We're not here, so this person probably went for the save. Yep. That's going to be my assumption, at least. So maybe the Leon? Oh. Whenever I make, a like, a falling shot, I always feel like the actual shot goes a really wonky way. All right, Pentimento in play, which gives us a ton of play remote. Hi. Do you have decisive? I'm gonna go on limb, I guess, probably. Yes. All right, well, I'll wait my five seconds here. All right, where'd you go? Come here. Unless, uh, did you write? Oh, actually kind of confused me for a second. I thought I saw her dip back over there, and I was kind of confused why we didn't have scratch marks. Nice, well played. What's going on? Yeah, it's really easy for us always just to swap off. That's why I play things so nice. Hey, gamer. Where'd you go? I know you're looking for saves. Oh, yeah, here you are. And we got rid of our pentimento. That's okay. There we go. Very altruistic gamer, and just eating the ground for it. The nice thing is this allows us now to know that she's going to be on death hook and has no more decisive strike. So she kind of used her decisive strike really early, a little greedy rather than getting distance like she should have. And now she kind of is going to regret it because if later on we want to take her out of the game, she has nothing really to defend against it. This isn't the best value, but it will give us unforeseen. It might be time to head over to the other side of the map. This gen doesn't seem to have a lot of progress. Neither does one to the right. We could be all the way at the end, but I'm going to check this gen just in case. Yeah, we're not here. And we did set up a boon, so I'm betting we're all the way in the back there. It's not like the most important gen. Like, letting this gen go isn't a bad thing. Oh, yeah. Nice little dodge. I was hoping to get some coin value. Where'd he go? Oh, here he got a lot of distance. Perfect. Try and set her in the middle here. There we go. That way she has to play on this tile over here. Like, she can't really get anywhere else without being in, like, line of sight. So close. I might have to chase her the other way to actually be able to get that shot. Oh, we should get this. There we go. Which is great, and we have a hook right here, so now we get a hook up and use Bob Goes the Weasel for some good value. Since this gen almost sounds like it's done. Unless Leon came back this way, it doesn't look like he did. So yeah, pretty much a top-notch 30% uh, there. Almost all the playthings are out. Actually, it looks like whoever's booning is actually booning the plaything totems. Which is smart, because then I can't get Pentimento. But... It does take a bit to boon, so I don't know how how worth it is. It's, I still get quite a bit of slowdown from them trying to boon it. Thank you. The survivor's out of the game. We're we coming back in, maybe. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm guessing she still has her plaything out there somewhere. We definitely have to be trying to crank this gen, right? Yeah, I tried. Don't do it. Oh, you're committing? 
Come on. Let go of it. Please. Ah. I hate you. But you know what? I'll take the two for one special. That is A-OK -okay with me. Alright, looks like the other Clauda is actually going for the save. I might as well hook him up. I could drop and look for it, but I don't think it matters time-wise. Not going through this way. There we go. We'll go ahead and just break this off. That way we don't have to worry about uh, Dead Hard. Where are we going? Eh, we got some distance. We'll go ahead and try and commit this. Hold on. We want to go the other way. There we go. Just like that. Alright, do you have decisive strikes? Gonna be the only question. We might as well eat it if she does have it. They shouldn't really have any more gen pressure out there except for what main building? That'd be the only real gen pressure that I can think of. But the build so far working phenomenally well. Again, unforeseen just being such a really strong perk, they did come from unknown. The other two perks from unknown weren't really that good, but unforeseen pretty top notch. Hi. Already dropping. We'll pop this and get unforeseen. Not that it matters too much. Are we holding forward? Oh, we're just sitting right here. I tried. Oh. What's up? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, guess what? What's up? And then there was one. He might come for the save, but we'll see. Oh, he's actually making some distance. They have some more pressure over here than I thought they would have, too. They were pretty gen efficient for what they had to do, but in the end, the pop just really consistent on good value here for us and just combines well with unforeseen. Oh, I mean, either way, that works for me, man. I didn't expect him to jump back in, but I think we had the shot either way. And that is game number one. Let's go ahead and move to our next. And now we have RPD. Love to see it. Not exactly the map I'd want to go for, for like the, you know, coin value, but we should be able to get a lot of undetectable value here. And getting into a chase right away always feels really good as killer. Thank you, we'll take it. First hit, pretty quick. How are we playing these second area? Going inside, going for the pallet. Hi there. Nice little pre-drop. Kind of had to. And now it looks like we're playing upstairs. Uh, not my favorite wing to get because we have to play on all these, but the gen layout looks nice. Ooh, just slightly off on that one. Yeah, like maybe another try here. Nice little dodge on her part. Free drop comes out. How are we playing it? There we go. Alright, we'll take ourselves a down. Pretty good chase on her part. Getting hit right away obviously hurt her a little bit, but playing over on the tile was pretty nice. And let's go ahead and just get ourselves our first popular weasel. I heard some gen pressure over here. And yeah, sounds like they're definitely over here. Oh, I missed that ankle. Just a little bit. But at least we get unforeseen and we have some good pop value now. Hi. Already getting great value. Hold that for me. Moving away. Fair enough. Hopefully she doesn't pre-drop. She doesn't. Gotcha. Well, they know I have the coin now, but hopefully... We can get some coin value later. Someone needs to kind of get over... Yeah, I was going to say, someone needs to get over there and get the save, like, right now. I don't know if that gen down there has a lot of progress. It might. Maybe a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's got enough worth for pop, for sure. It's sometimes hard to see the farther away you are. Especially depending, like, on the angle. If you look at a gen from the side, you normally don't have to worry too much. You can kind of see if the pistons are moving. But if you kind of look at it head on, yeah, what's going on? I saw you. If you look at it head on, you can't tell sometimes. Maybe have ourselves a nice little two tap. We'll see. One survivor over there. Someone fell. Hi, what's going on? 
we will catch that sprint burst, maybe. Got one survivor on the gen. Peekaboo. On the bright side, we're laying lots of shots. Well, might as well chase this down for a moment. Oh no, I don't think you should pay attention. Hey gamer, I have no idea. There we go. Either way, a little bit of plaything value, I think, is what we saw right there. Had me a little confused, though, for sure. Did I get pop this gen again? It looks like no. Maybe up here? Oh. What's going on? I mean, I might as well take our first hit. Maybe look for a follow-up. Oh, I feel like that one was, like, right on point. There's a fun shot here, but it is a very hard shot to go for. Yeah, and they can always hold for if they know you're looking for it. It's still really far away. Playing a, like a gamble. Hello? Are you, you know, are you just looking for the save? Like, what do you think is going to go on there, gamer? Alright, let's at least get you up on a hook for now then. A really silly and risky play from Rebecca. Oh, nice. There goes a play thing. There goes two play things. We have Pentamento going to come into play here in a little bit. And we have a gen that we can kick for Unforeseen. There we go. Think someone comes up for the save right now? Answer's looking like no. I really just kind of want to get coin value at least once, you know? Hi. Yeah, take the vault. Go for it. Oh, no. You're so far away. Oh, come on. Go farther. Oh, and I missed. I don't even think that's long enough, to be fair. Oh, well. Might as well do the chase, then. Are we playing it out? We are playing it out. I know I can shoot over this. It's a little finicky, though. Yeah. Gotta be a little careful. At least you didn't drop. You kind of want to pre-drop this sometimes. That's why. Come back over here. So you did get stuck on a chair, which is super unfortunate. At least we have a hook right nearby where we can get another pop off and then maybe go for like an unforeseen play. It's not the most valuable pop. Let's at least get unforeseen up and going. Oh, we have a survivor right up there. Uh, I'm going to go over here and get my Pentamento set up. An early Pentamento would be pretty valuable. It looks like they're going for the save anyway, so we have plenty of time. All right, here we go. Now, on the bright side, they might be comfortable. and They might know I have unforeseen, so let's see if they stay. Gotcha. That is a sharpshooter. Come on, coin value. No, come here. Thank you. You'll love to see getting coin value. Again, I feel like, you know, conspiracy theory time. Again, I think the coin used to be base kit on Destinger. We've always had that sharpshooter tag, but that's just me. I think it was originally meant that way, and they moved into an add-on. Which, I don't know, man. If the coin was base kit, would it really be, like, overtuned? I think it'd be pretty good. And it would super encourage long-range shots. You are just a goober and a half. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Let's get coin value times two. You just love to see it. Looks like the Fangman is giving up. Not that it mattered. Oh, and we have Yoon Jin just popping her head around at the worst time. Now the question is, can I down the survivor before she manages to find Hatch? Pull you back. There we go. And the same shot. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Just at the very end. You love to see it. Whew. Not too bad. And Hatch was actually right there for them. 
But there we go. That is today's build. Overall, it is pretty consistent and pretty fun. So definitely try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.